What's up, everybody? Welcome back to the channel, and look at what we have here. The homie Ronnie Kirkpatrick representing Kent State. For real, for real, Kent State, man. We have ourselves a Heisman hopeful, for real, for real, over John David Booty. That's crazy. That is crazy. Ronnie Kirkpatrick, you done made me proud. I'm proud like a like a dad watches his only son that made it. Oh my goodness gracious. We are not quite in the top 25, but we do have a chance to possibly get there, man. We have nothing else to focus on except for getting in the top 25, winning our conference championship game, and of course getting to a big time bowl game. But we got to get to the conference championship game first place. That That's the main goal. We get to the top 25, that's cool. This guy, he got to get suspended. He was starting for us, but I haven't only started in the last few weeks. So, hey, he I mean, he's going to be on the sideline for the next three games. It sucks for him. He is 82 overall. He's a senior. But, yeah, I'm the, I mean, I just haven't been playing him. He's kind of been playing tight end, our second string tight end. I try not to use that formation too much. And I do try to sub him, up from, sub him out from time to time. But at the end of the day, him getting suspended isn't the biggest deal in the world. Sucks for him. Sucks for him. You don't want to be a stupid athlete. You want to be a student athlete, okay? The creme de la creme, homie. So, they're going to throw that thing to Baker. I'm eating this dough. Get off the field. So like I was saying, we have nothing else to focus on. No more recruiting, okay? We have all the guys that we wanted. We got them to sign, okay? All we have to do is focus on winning football games. With Ronnie Kirkpatrick out here throwing Dawkins dimes like that, you know it is going to happen. Blair picks up just one. Get the ball to Neal. He's able to get upfield, and he's going to have himself a first down. I love the running back by committee, even though Blair clearly is the class of the class, the top of the tippy. That sounded weird, but just roll with it. Kirkpatrick inside the 10, and we're going to pick up a solid game right there. So second down and four. Kirkpatrick looking for Morgan, makes the catch. Not quite in the end zone when he made it. So first and goal from the one. Give the ball to Blair. Like I was saying, loving, I love having the running back by committee. But it's always good to know who the number one horse in the stable is. Okay? And unlike the, in the Kentucky Derby, we don't use no steroids on our horses. You know what I'm saying? Second down and 10. Play fake. That pass is going to be caught by the homie Ham. And that's going to be a first down for Buffalo. Ham it. Throwing that thing. It's tipped and then caught by Stephen Moore. Give me some more of that. Number two in your program. Number one in your heart. If he makes it to the pros, he's going to be rocking 21. Because that's exactly what Neon did. He was number two at FSU. But he was number one in your heart, baby. You can't make this stuff up. They're going to run the ball again. Buchanan, I believe his name is. And that's going to lead to a game of six. They're going to run the ball with Buchanan again. And that is going to lead to a game of about four. So they run it a third straight time. And this time, they do pick up the first down. So can Buffalo answer our two touchdowns with a touchdown of their own? I mean, that would be a good look. It would make for a solid gameplay. But I'm trying to win and impress the old school computer system, which is called the BCS. All right, second down and 10. They're going to run the ball. No, it's a play fake. Hammond throws it to the right side. Ooh, my users are getting better and better as the season goes on. Hammond has all day. No pass rush to speak of. That pass falls incomplete. Yeah, you got to catch it. You got to catch it. You have to catch that football. That's why they gave you a scholarship, sir. Neil breaking ankles and breaking hearts the buffalo fans are watching the tv like oh my goodness gracious that's their backup running back we can't stop him and we have to face him another three years oh my goodness gracious we're gonna be in trouble for life taking a shot deep to lee y'all gonna be in trouble not just for life but definitely for today buffalo 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 get on our recruiting hike because until you do you might be taking l's left and right saw what i did there hammond looking downfield get that thing up out here. The homie Cook is cooking, batting that thing away. Hammond throws it to the right side. Again, solid coverage by the homie. This time it was Dukes with the coverage. Hammond, again, with time, throws it, and that pass will fall incomplete again. He let the dogs out. I hope that they all have a leash and a collar and a dog tag so we can get them back to you, sir. Lee from inside, from just above his own 20, I should say. Cuts it back at the 33, but forgot the football. Cook has it, and he's going to take it to the crib. Not our Cook, but Buffalo's Cook. And that's going to be the first touchdown of the game 
for Buffalo. It comes on a fumble and a scoop and score. So special teams for us not playing so special. In fact, they are letting us down. Flores, nice little spin move right there. Second down and seven. I think a three-yard pickup. Kirkpatrick has a man open. The Pope is open. 10-5 down inside the two-yard line. We go. First and goal. We're going to run this thing. Kirkpatrick is in the end zone. And, yes, at this point, I'm looking to pad stats. He does have more rushing touchdowns than passing touchdowns, but I'm okay with that. I really am. I'm okay with running more of an option, not necessarily an option style team, but definitely a team that looks to run the football any which way. Of course, we want to hit some line drives, some home runs with the passing game, but there's nothing like getting a single here, getting a single there, moving the ball methodically up and down the field. That was a big time run by Buffalo, running the ball hard to the left side. Then I was hoping he would cut it back in. He did not, and I just left the lane wide open for him to get into the end zone. And maybe Buffalo has some life. They got that special teams TD. Now they have an offensive TD. But can their defense do anything? And as of right now, the answer is a big fat no. They can't do anything. Maybe our offense is just hot to handle. And last time I checked, there are no other mitts on the field. So here we go. Second down and 10. Kirkpatrick, he's going to roll out. Still rolling. Let's it fly. Blair making the catch downfield. And that's one thing that has been a big surprise. How well Blair has been catching the football out of the backfield. Because it's not just short passes as that pass gets batted away. It is deep passes that he is catching. So third down and seven. That was our first incompletion of the ball game. Why throw it again? Just run the ball. My goodness gracious. He has genius in his ankles. I keep on trying to tell you that. Genius in his ankles. He is number one in rushing TDs. Not just as a quarterback. But in the whole country, the whole country, the whole continental United States of America, the states, bruh, number 11 in your program, number one in your heart, I'm talking about the homie Ronnie Kirkpatrick, gets into the end zone yet again, that pass will be broken up, we are doing our thug fizzle on defense so far, that pass is going to be caught by Tuiasa Sopo, Tui Sopo, I don't know if I'm saying all right. Tui, Sopi, Sopi, Sa, Si, Sa, I'm going to stop. I'm sorry. I don't know. Buchanan up the gut. He's going to pick up four. Third down and six. Looking. Throwing. Caught Baker over the middle. And that's going to be another first down for Buffalo. Buffalo is clearly not going to go away. They realize they have a lot of time left. And Buchanan is out here giving people the people's shoulder. My gosh. First down and ten from the 12-yard line. They're going to throw that thing Hammond to Ham. Ham hockey, second down and six after the four-yard pickup. Hammond looking, still looking, fires it. That's caught, and that is going to lead to a first down. So first and goal from the one, they run the ball, and we're not going to stop it. 35-21 is now the score. We have some time on the clock. We're going to run the ball, Blair. We, su we, we, we surprise you, and we surprise them, as you can see. First down and ten. Ronnie Kirkpatrick throws it to the flat. Blair with the good hands like all state gets out of bounds and has himself a first down. From the 44, Ronnie Kirkpatrick, he's going to roll out, throws it. Williams makes the catch, splits the defense in the 88 club, and he's in the end zone, and we're doing our thing. 42 to 21. 42 points in the first half. This is going to turn into like some old school. I don't, I don't, I don't want to call it an old school game, but like if we continue to just have offenses like this, in this conference, when we put up, we are going to be putting up some major, major points, some major, major numbers. We're averaging about over 300 yards on the ground. I don't think that's a record in college football, but it should be because the way that we play is just phenomenal. Because you know, we can throw the ball deep, we can throw the ball with accuracy underneath, and of course, we can pound the rock, hit the body, body blows, wear the defense down, and then go over the top when they're sucking for air. So we make the catch right there with Williams. Flores trying to get to the outside. Picks up a couple yards. And now it's going to be second down and goal. Get the ball to Flores again and again. He picks up a couple yards. So third and goal now. Kirkpatrick looking. He's going to roll to the right side. Nothing doing. He's going to roll all the way back to the left side. Buying some more time. The D-line is just chasing him. But they're not going to catch him. Kirkpatrick cuts back to the right side now. He's headed to the goal line. It's stupid. It is stupid. If you're if you're like a new viewer, you may think we're playing on like I don't know what is it? Not, not rookie varsity, no junior varsity. No, it's straight Heisman and it's even harder sliders. Whenever I use sliders, 
in any of my series, on any channel that, that I have, as we get the interception right there, I try to make it easier on the computer. Like, I really, really do. Because I know me, I know I'm not going to not call plays that I know work. Okay, you might call them money plays, whatever. If I know it's going to work, I can't just pretend like they don't work. There's a reason why I don't do ESPN franchise mode anymore because the franchise mode is a little bit broken. Nobody really talks about that with that game. Everybody thinks that game is just perfect. And the gameplay-wise, it's pretty darn good, especially for a game that's nearly 20 years old. But the fact that, you know, the draft logic is out of, like, d lineman, It's like, yeah, d lineman pass rusher, basically, quarterback, or like, left tackle, all in the first four rounds or three rounds. I believe it's four rounds. It's pretty dumb. Like, it's pretty dumb. But anyways, man, I digress. But I just, I can't do it. Like, I'm just to make a long story a tad bit shorter, I can't just, like, pretend like things don't exist. And for me, I'd much rather not play a game than have to control all 32 teams to make the draft more realistic. If that makes sense. It might not make sense to you, but it makes sense to me, and that's why I don't do it. So Penn, he's in the ball game, looking for the homie Williams, gets into the end zone. That's what I'm talking about. Of course, we put in our backups, because when your backups play, they get better as well. Everybody can get better within the season. Um, upgrades to the overalls can happen in game as well, man. You could be 83 overalls, throw throw a couple of picks, and you're and you're at 78. You know what I'm saying? It could happen. So they score a touchdown. They would get the onside. They wouldn't get the onside kick. We would, but we would go three and out, and then I get a user with Cook, who's playing safety. Because again, even though we're playing pretty well, we still do not have a full roster of goons out there. Maybe next year we can start building where we have some solid backups at every position. As of right now, we don't. When I put in the backups, we had some running back playing O-line, some O-linemen playing D-line, and quarterbacks playing safety. That's just the way it is when you're still a pretty small program. But we're winning, we're dominating, I'm a happy man. All right, Ronnie Kirkpatrick putting up Heisman numbers. Only one incompletion. I believe that was like a drop pass or the safety made a great play. All I know, Ronnie is doing his thing. Three rushing touchdowns on the ground as well. Again, he is just a man amongst boys. And yes, we did redshirt him. Maybe we shouldn't have, but all I know is that it's working, and you can't trip on what's behind you. Next week, FIU. And we're ranked number 24. You see it, baby. I'm going to get up out of here. Hope the rest of the day is the best of your day. Peace, love. High sauce.